What is happening, my fellow Dovahkiins? Happy New Year and welcome back. Let's start this year off right. So the last episode, I hit this really long tangent when I hit the cave. The cave, which I don't remember the name of. <laughs> so this episode, let's just jump right back in and get these jobs done for Delvin and Vex. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit White Run. And while we're there, we're also going to pick up some horses for the crew. So what do you say? Let's go. So we're in Iverstead at the moment, which does not have a carriage. Uh, yeah, there's no carriage, but I do have that awesome mod. Um, I forgot what the mod is called, but it has something to do with these, uh, carriage stops. Let's settle this. What, what is this mod called? Simple Carriage Expansion. That's what it's called. So, we're gonna go ahead and just wait for a carriage here. And we're gonna go to White Run. Alright, so it's 7.42 p.m. I have something for you. Here. <laughs> Thank you, Lydia. What'd you get me? She got me a gold ingot. And now I'm overweight. Thanks, Lydia. <laughs> Alright, so let's hobble on over to uh, the crates over here. Can I ask you something? Uh, sure. You want to ask me something? Okay. If you had to describe your best personality trade, what would it be? Strong and dashing. Devastatingly handsome. I would say that I'm sly. Don't think you can fool me. I am a master manipulator. I can turn men into slaves without doing a thing. All right. Well, all you got to do is flutter okay, your eyes then. at me and you've got my heart. You know what? I'm not going to burden her. I'll, I'll just trudge. I mean, it's just right over here, right? <laughs> a nice uh, gingerly stroll outside Whiterun. Sunset. Beautiful. But it's about 8 p.m. at night. I don't think I could buy horses at the moment, but it's a decent hour to start some shenanigans for Delvin and Vex. All right, here we go. All right, so I got a lot of weapons, so let's get rid of all this stuff. All right, that ought to do her. Still got a lot of stuff, but I got plenty of carry. Yeah, I opened up a lot of space. All right, so what are we doing here? Got something here. Retrieve Arcadia's Flawless Amethyst and something really close to us. Retrieve the golden ship model from Maiden Loom, Ma Maiden Loom Manor. Is that this building right here? The building I never go in. I run past it constantly. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is it. Expert lock. Oh my god. Alright, is anybody seeing me? <laughs> Sneak activate. Alright, these girls are... Let me reposition them. Or at least Sophia, because Sophia doesn't put her torch away when I sneak. I didn't figure out a way to get her to do it, and I don't want to take her torch away from her. And by the way, guys, I lost Bernard. I lost our good boy. I don't know what happened to him. So, we lost our dog. I don't know. Yeah, I guess when I made them wait somewhere, I don't know. I guess pets are a little bit weird. Oh, next time I find a dog, I'm going to take him straight to the museum. Because I like the idea of having pets and stuff around the museum. That's kind of cool. All right, so what goodies have we got here? Let's look at this table. Ooh, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Ooh, I found some nerd root. Good. Eggs and all these goodies. All right. Turnips. Oh, gotta take the pie. I don't recall ever what? Oh, I already have that book. I don't recall ever coming into this house. We don't need Horka Tusk anymore. Silver. I don't think I need any more silver. Do I have silver yours? I think I do, but I'm gonna take it just in case. March to Dooms. And Saber Tooth. Anybody see a golden ship? Oh there it is. Nice. Is it a busy pension of the boss? Ancestor moth. Already had it. Oh, let's see if I could buy a horse at this hour. Oh, wait a minute. Quick, quick. Yeah, let's knock. Hello? No answer. I'm breaking in. And I can't because the girls are exposing me. All right, we'll worry about it later. Yeah, we'll just buy the horse in the morning. So, let's go to Arcadius Cauldron. And 
steal that amethyst trimmer. I don't know, am I pickpocketing that or am I just pilfering it from somewhere? I don't know. Such a big moon. Whoa, shooting star. Nice. That was really cool. Huh. People out for a stroll. These doors, man. Glorious. Yeah, and that gives us a good reason to just go through uh, Arcadia's house and, and see what else we can take. So it's 9 p.m. Still a little early. So we'll go to the tavern, let the girls relax. I heard a puppy. I miss you, Bernard. Why is there a quest marker on this door? What's in here? Oh, Arcadia must be in here. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send yeah, someone over. Yeah, there she is right there. Let's go ahead and steal that thing. Yeah, right there. Her fall, flawless amethyst. 65% chance to steal. Oof. That was scary. But I got it. Talon. Oh, I also need flawless amethyst for Talon J. I'm still going to break into her house. <laughs> Okay, let's get a room for a night because we're going to sleep there tonight. Good to see you. Since Arcadia is out, oh, did you need this something? would be a good time to break in. So have the girls wait and uh, do a little bit of sneaky business. All right, so uh, too many eyeballs out front. Let's call it back. I miss Bernard. Where'd you go, buddy? 12, 10, 10 it is. Now, with JK's overhaul, there's going to be a lot of good stuff in here, man. I'm hoping at least one fire assault, which I'm pretty sure there is one. What else do I need? Nern root and one death bell. Alright, so... Since no one's here, I could turn on the light. Yeah, we got a book. Iblis got to Skyrim. Nice. Look at that tiny honey pot. That is so cool. I'm taking it. Cause it looks cool. All right, fine clothes. Oh yeah, here's the goodies. Still sneaking though. I'm not gonna take everything, just what I need. Oh, there's my death bell. Pretty sure that's all I needed. Yep. And I need like 17 or 18 more uh, Nern root. I bet she has at least one. Nope. So that bee in a jar, I'm not going to take it. And I'm not going to take this uh, dragonfly in a jar. Even though there are displays for it in a museum. These are added by JK Skyrim and not the ones that's meant to be displayed in a museum. Whoa, what's this? Ring of Warcraft. That must be... Um, decrease the target's magic regeneration by 10%. Makes the wearer lucky as an Imperial. Carry capacity uh, is increased and create potions 50% stronger. This is for the museum. I think this is Skyrim... Let's see what this is from. Oblivion Artifacts. Okay. So take it. Alright. Oh, another fire assault. Good. Six more to go. Yeah. I'm not I'm not taking everything because our kitty is our friend. We can't we can't screw her over too bad. I mean I've already just pickpocketed her. Alright, let's see what else we got. Why am I sneaking when no one's here? I don't know. It just feels right. Let's pick. Let's pick this lock. Do you guys? Do you guys like lock picking? I know some people hate it. Wow, lots of stuff in here. Wow, lots of locks. I mean, I see some fire salts in there, man. So we got to go through these locks and earn some lock picking experience. Anyway, see, it's not too bad. Piece of cake. Oh, button. What is that? Pearl. Alchemy book already read. Let's close it. All right, let's open this one. Be not a big deal. Moon sugar and void salts. Let's get this one. I mean, if I knew where to like hunt um, fire atronoxes, I'd just go hunt down the fire salts, but I have no clue. It always felt random to me when you encounter them in the wild. Anyways, we're playing thieves. So might as well break into alchemy shops, right? So close. There we go. Boom. There's a fire assault. There's a fire assault. 
There we go. Just need uh four more. Oh, this is nice and easy. Alright, what's in here? What is that? Vampire dust, but that looks like a heart. Oh, that's a danger heart. I'm not gonna steal it. But I will remember that it's there. Let's go upstairs. Pick the salts. Alright, what do we got here? Amulet RK? I think I already have one. Yeah. Look in a bedroom. Hey, what's this? It's a jeweled horn for the museum. Cool. And let's open this lockbox. Alright, it's about 10 o'clock. I saw it give. Right there. Yeah, since I started playing this playthrough with the mouse and keyboard, I don't think I can go back to control now. A controller. Alright, we're done here, guys. So, let's go back to the inn. Have a nap. Or a good sleep, rather. It's 10 p.m. Sleep till about 8 in the morning. And then wake up, have something to eat, and uh, have a bath, and then go buy some horses. Alright, so it's 10 p.m., so I want to sleep 10 hours. Hey, let's go get our horses. Alright, ladies, you excited about getting your horses? So with Sophia, uh, the way... Sophia comes with her own horse, if you wanted to set, up, set it up that way, but uh, I want convenient horses to manage all of that. So I did turn off Sophia's horse in her MC menu, so she shouldn't get her own horse. But sometimes if that doesn't work, she ends up getting two horses. <laughs> Alright, let's buy my horse. So first we're going to buy mine, of course. Need something? Can I? Well, how old are your horses? None of them's older than nine. And the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old. But in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alfsiger. Or just Allie for short. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. Allie, I like it. I'll keep that name. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. And I do. Two thousand dollars. Oh my You've god. Got the deal. It's the one with the saddle. Alright. Not today. Sold my okay. last one. Pretty so sure I think I sold it to you. Okay. <laughs> now, convenient horses, I think there's like a introductory quest or something. Okay, I petted it. No. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if the quest kicks off right away, or how that works. Don't know. Ugh. I'm used to Cyberpunk. I was trying to use WASD to move the horse. In Cyberpunk, I have my arrow keys for movement and WASD for, for cars. Alright, I gotta get used to this. Alright, so for now, I guess there's no quest. I think it's you wait an hour or something like that. But anyways, can I go ahead and get the girls to buy their own horses? Oh, there it is. Started convenient horses. Mount your horse. I can't skip the quest. I thought there was an option to skip the quest. All right, so I want to improve my riding skills. What is this? Let's ride. All right, completed. Mounted my horse. Now what? Harvest ingredients will mount it. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 All right. So I guess you can't skip the these quests or whatever. So oh well. Let's go ahead and just knock it out. So let's go off in the wild, find some plants to harvest. I think this is lavender. I harvested it like ages ago. Alright, here's some. Nope. Yeah, I did. There we go. So the way this works, you just get close to whatever you want to harvest and auto harvest. Hence the name, Convenient Horses. My poor girls are like following me on foot. Usually there's mountain flowers and stuff along the road. Alright, here's some more lavender. The 
the deer are happy for me. That's awesome. I think you could also harvest butterflies. Yep. That's cool. Almost done. One more. Alright, that should be five. Excellent! Perform a fast dismount. How do I do that? I think you have to set a hotkey for that. I don't think I said hotkey for that. Oh, you just uh, press uh, double tap uh, mount or F or activate whatever your act activate key is. Cool. Now what? Practice horse whistle. Z to whistle. That's also my shout. I don't think I have anything quit for shouting. Let's make sure I don't. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. One more time, Boda. With feeling. Cool. <laughs> I'll never use the whistle hotkey because I have these. Command horse to follow? How do I do that? Okay. Follow me. Yay. <laughs> I guess we're getting some leveling experience for this. Purchase traveling equipment from Hostler. Really? Okay, so I gotta go through like a little menu just to mount my horse. That could be annoying. That's a go. That's cool. What kind of what kind of uh, armor will I put on him? What's available? I'm kind of curious. I guess it'll match with whatever I'm wearing then. Some leather type thing maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what's available. Then when my followers get their horse. That's cool. What money I have left over? I still have 16,000 gold, man. I'm good. Mr. Hustle, do you have any troubling equipment that I can purchase? Of course. Cool, what do you got? Excellent, I'll bring my horse then. Uh. Allie, why'd you run away? Did this man beat you? Should I like, kill him for you? There's gotta be a way to. Ah, trying to use WAC again. Ugh, weird controls for horses. Can I talk on horseback? Eh, maybe not. Need something? Yes. Give me equipment. Sophie's trying to give me something. What are you trying to give me, girl? Where are you finding gold ingots? Of course. Wait, my horse just started running and winning. What was that? It, I don't know. It's never happened before. Just bring it back to me. All right, I'll bring it back. Why does my horse not like you? Come on, there's another horse up there. Whose horse is that? Ride. <laughs> right through the fence. I brought my horse back. You've done well. It's running away again. Don't do that. Just bring it back to me. <laughs> what the hell, man? Allie, darling, what is wrong? I could pet it. It's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry, Sophia. I'm not gonna hit her. I would never hit a horse. It'd be like hitting a dog. People that do that deserve a special place in hell. Now children on the other hand. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Quickly grab the bridle. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Over here. Watch out girls, you don't want to stand in the way of that horse. Now what? Should I go get her? Oh, he's going after her. 
What are you doing that for? Um. Right. This is Boda's uh, dance of attracting horses. See, it worked. Or it didn't. Nah, I don't think so. What's the deal, Maine? So, do I talk to you or do I grab my horse? <laughs> Interesting. Where you going, man? Yeah? About my horse? So is that it? It would seem so. It can't be helped. No, I will find a way to control it. You expect it. me to believe that? Believe me when I say it? Nah, I don't think so. Talk to a host hostler about mounting? While mounted. Okay. So you can talk while mounted. Ellie, baby, what is wrong, girl? I wish I had some sugar cubes. Horses like sugar cubes, right? There we go. Press A when near people to rear up and interact with them. A is my sprint button. I'm pressing A. Oh, there he is. Lydia, I can talk to Lydia. I found a way, despite your lack of faith. You've done well. I always do. Shall we do the trade now? Of course. I want a better saddle and some sacks. For that price? Sure. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Oh. Okay. It's like a pack horse. Check what's in the sack. Okay. Sorry, Lydia. Let's make some room. So, that's why you get double prompts when you first click on it. What's in the sack? Nordrider's horn. Completed. Lydia is so impressed. Use the horse call power. Press Z to blow the horn. Um, can I just use my quick menu here? Yeah. Nice. Now what? Perform a sprinting horse charge attack. Defeat and loot an enemy in mounted combat. So that means I'm going to have to use a sword. I'll have these girls wait here. Don't worry, I'll, I'll train you everything I learned, girls. So let's go find something to kill. There was a bunch of elk out here before. I see one. There's an elk right there. I'm coming to get you, Elk. Your back is to me. A rock's in front of you. Seems like a good setup. Ugh. You're not dead yet. Now you are. Now how do I loot? Oh. Oh, it auto-looted. Interesting. Am I done? Is that it? Is that everything that concerns uh, convenient horses? Let's see. I guess that's it. Convenient horses, that's it. Alright, that quest is nice and short. Alright. So, can I make horse saddles or can I buy additional horse saddles? Like, what's the deal? Anything else can I interact in any other way? Oh, wow. Your equipment needs changing. Maybe I should train you. This place is... Oh, this is awesome. Holy crap. I need to make decisions. Huh? All right, first, let's see his equipment. <gasps> okay, here we go. White run comparison. Traveler, Imperial, bareback, original equipment. That's a good fit. Let's go white run. Yeah, it's a white run horse. It's my favorite town. 
Traveler, that's what it must have been. With a banner? No, 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 no. That's a little too, uh, a little too, uh, uh, flamboyant. Flamboyant's the right word? No. It's a little too, uh, well, it draws too much of attention. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Imperial? That's nice and simple. I like that. I'll go with that for now. Cool. So let's talk to this guy again, see if there's any other options. Mm hmm? Nordic for Imperial. No, I'll keep Nordic. Ride strong. This is such an awesome mod, guys. <laughs> Convenient Horses is amazing. Alright, what else can I do here? Let's play. I want to manage your inventory. Okay, so I could store stuff on them. I think, like, putting a tent, storing all your, like, tent and firewood it would be a great idea for that. Uh, maybe I should train you. Horse can be trained and its attributes improve strength, endurance, and speed. Training experience is gained from riding activities. Training level increases with experience up to 10. Higher levels require more training experience. Attribute of choice can be increased on level up. So there's 10 levels, which means I could have this 10 points to spend, right? I think I would put it all in the speed. Maybe health and stamina, though. Carry weight? Nah, eh, I'm not going to really be using my horse as a pack mule. Just like, you know, my camping stuff would be here. I think speed would be best. I, I think I'm just going to put 10 points into speed. Alright, begin training. Here we go. I need to make decisions. What's this? I've decided to follow... Okay. I don't think I want to mess with any of this. Let's follow behavior. Least, short, leashed, long, loose, unleashed, stay near, default. Unleashed, stay far. Yeah. I don't need my horse always with me. That is cool. All right, let's see about the girls getting their own horses now. Let's start with Lydia. Back already? Yeah, I got a lot to teach you guys, girls. All right, I know there's an option for them to go buy their own horse. For me. Oh, here it is. You should buy a horse. How can I argue with that? So each city has its own look for horses, right? I think so. So I got the white run horse. Let's have her buy a Palomino horse from Solitude. Gold solves most problems. Doesn't it? Of course, I got you, girl. Of course. And then she should take off to go buy her horse. All right. I'll see you when you get back. Okay, Sophia. Yes, I'm listening. All right, I want you to buy a horse too. Hmm, I'm okay, not seeing an option for her to buy a horse. I'm glad that's sorted. All right, so with her, I'll just turn her horse back on. Yeah, right here, Sophia, use a horse. There we go. So now when I got on my horse, she should summon her own horse. Let's ride. Waiting on you, Sophia. Where's your horse? Oh, that's her horse. That's way out there. Okay. That's cool. I doubt I'll have the option for her to like change the armor on her horse, though. It's too bad. Alright, but don't worry guys, just because I have a horse doesn't mean I'm going to run from city to city. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Alright, so let's see what our next uh, target will be. So, the f this is done. DC oh, still 500 gold? Oh, I guess whatever I stole in Whiterun was 500 uh, gold worth of stuff. So there was five jobs in Whiterun. We completed it. Alright, so we did the Book of Love, the numbers job. Um, that was the Rifting one. We did that. We also did that one, so we got the sweep and the shill. So this one is in Windhelm, and we're gonna break into that guy's house and steal three things, and then the shill job, Jala's house in Solitude. That's where the executioner lives in Solitude. We'll save this one for last. So, all right, so off to uh, Windhelm. Hey, off. Okay. It seems like every time we go to Windhelm, there's a dragon. So, and Lydia is gonna take a little while. Windhelm's a bit cold for my tastes. So I need to get a gir the girls a cloak for their city outfit so that they're wearing cloaks at all times. Because right now the cloaks only show up when they're... Clear skies, right? Right. I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to see if I can pickpocket uh, a crossbow off of one of these guys. Because for some reason you can't buy crossbows. I wonder if I can make one yet. I forgot what the mod is called that adds crossbows. Crossbows of Skyrim, maybe? I don't know. Because I know I can make some really good crossbows, but those are like higher level stuff. I, I want the basic disrespect crossbow. Disrespect the law, you disrespect me. Taking things kind of personally there, buddy. Hey, Lydia's back. 
He doesn't have a crossbow. All right. Cool. All right, so we're going to break into some dude's house. There's his house. That's just over here. Next to uh, the Argento guy? Kid? Is that his name? Argento? I'm running over here because I always buy flowers from this girl. I feel so bad for her. You don't even have a cloak. Buy some flowers. Poor Sophie. Pretty, please. Some pretty flowers. I picked them all. all by myself. Don't worry, Sophie. When I finally Thanks. buy a house, you'll have a Thanks place to live. Thanks for talking to me. It helps them accept what Yeah, Lydia. Sure thing. All right. So, how the girls wait outside? All right. You need a better luck, dude. It's the middle of the day. Hopefully he's out and about. If not, gotta come back at night. So there should be three things here to take. And I haven't been in this house before, right? Maybe there's some stuff for the museum. Okay, so all three things are in the, the foyer. I actually only took something I didn't want. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's actually over there on the other side of the wall. What's this? Hide armor. Like a full set of hide right here. That's cool. I like stealing. So much fun. Wow, this guy's a hunter. Of people. I'm going to take these skulls. Pretty sure I need them for stuff later. Alright. Ooh, oh, sweet roll. And a book on the ground. Don't need it. Garlic. Alright. This guy's no friend of us, so... Double pitcher? <laughs> Weird. Um, bow. Alright, so before we look at his uh, bedroom, let's see what's up in the loft. Nothing. And no secrets up here. Holy crap, he is in the house. Dude, it's three in the afternoon. I wonder if he's a vampire. <laughs> loose change? I like the loose change. Silver platter, sugar. Eh, I don't see anything special in this place. Ooh, nice necklace. Alright, so let's see what's on his person. Got some necklaces and gold. 95% chance. I like those ones. 86% chance. Alright. Pretty good odds here, but you know. Why you run? <laughs> and since we did the windhelm job, we could actually run up to a guard and um. It's okay, it's okay, girls. Relax. Let me just find a guard real quick, and I can pay him off. Hello there. Wait, I know you. Everybody knows me. She just like dismissed me. Talk to me. Wait, I know you. You're making a mistake. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man. And oh, it's she's time so excited. To pay for your crimes. All right. So where's my? Uh, you caught me. I'll pay. No, 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 no. I'm with the guild. Is this enough? What is this uh, second option from? I wonder what that's from. I'm with the guild. I can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. Sounds What's good. You? Done. Now move along before you get me in trouble. Okay, so that's great. Once you do the city quest, you could just pay off your bounty whenever you get caught um, pickpocketing. So you could just pickpocket as much as you want and to work up your pickpocketing and all that. So let's steal some more what stuff. Do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry! Yeah. Talk to the guard. For that. I'll spare yeah. you. Talk to me, woman. I'm getting out of here. I am sorry, but you um, left me with no choice. Okay. Yeah, so I was all being all like... I want your shield, because I don't have a <laughs> with old shield, and of course you don't have a crossbow. All right, ladies, we've done a bad thing. They're pretty nonchalant about it. All right, so let's exit the gate, and maybe the guard at the gate will talk to me. Okay, so it's not perfect. I'm not a perfect person. I'm but a mere mortal, guys. Okay, let's talk to the guard. Hey, um. I'm sorry. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man and it's time to pay for your crimes. Not bad. 50 gold to, uh... I can make all your problems with the guards go away. But it'll cost you. What do you well, say? Well, 
It's Done. the wind home, so I don't feel too now bad. Move along before you get me in trouble. Wait a minute. Do I have wind home armor? I don't think I do. Let me let me loot this guard of all her stuff, just in case. If it's still here. Yeah. Oh, and she has a cloak. Good. It's a nice cloak. All right, so let's get Lydia. What's on your mind? We'll add this to her city outfit. The new cloak I just got. Here it is. That looks really good. So I'm gonna get Sophia one time as well. All right, let's go. Next up, Solitude. And Jala's house is pretty close to the museum, so that's good. It's a storming. In fact, I need to get a cloak for myself because I, I gave my cloak that I had to one of the girls. And that horse is still up there. What is going on? <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. So we're going to Jala's house. I know exactly where that is. I'm going to hold off on the eating and drinking and bathing until much later. So it's 7.30pm. Maybe the residences of the house will be at the local inn or whatever. I never did look into the issue with the shield. Like right now, Boda is supposed to be holding a shield above his head for the rain. But the shield on back, whatever mod that does that is uh, conflicting with it. I never did look into that. I'm sure uh, Lexi had a fix for that, and I must have missed instructions or something. Because I didn't add anything I that interferes with that. I brought it to you, but still I am refused. So now. Oh, did you need something? Here's Jala's house. I've been here before. Before the guard gets here, come on. Oh, there's not even locked. All right, so no sneaking around. So what I'm taking is upstairs, or in that... Oh, Ugh, I fell. So I'm planting something here. Okay. Sneak into sneaks. Wrong button. Okay. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Just stolen something, right? There it is. And what it done. And I'm pretty sure I already took everything that this place had. All right, let's go, ladies. Huh. Okay, so hit yes, the safe so house, get into proper attire for displaying stuff, let the girls relax, and it sounds like a plan. Huh, you're no fun. Yeah, this time I'm being a little bit smarter by putting my quest stuff on uh, <laughs> Sophia's, so I don't forget. And I just remember the gold ore. Okay. Oh, man, I forgot I looted this. Ring of the Wamasu converts Magicka into Shock Enchantment Charge on your arrows. That's... This ring is from uh, um, Archery Gameplay Overhaul. So this was a very, very lucky find. So I can do shock damage on my arrows if I equip this. Yeah, it automatically makes it so my arrows I should do shock damage. That'd be good for dragons. That's gonna be good. Looking good. Let's do it. All right, so a thing that I'm... Go about your day, dude. Uh, try to make this a habit. Always hit the replica station before I actually start running around. So, I can make this. I have clay, I have firewood. And... Oh, I didn't get the glass. I forgot to get the glass. Oh, man. Do I have orichalcum ingots? Maybe. Yeah, white laundry a spoon. Alright, so let's get the clay and the firewood. Soul gems. Yeah, I don't have a grand soul gem. All right, so let's go ahead and make this curious silver mold. Boom. And now let's greatly encumber ourselves by looting all of this. Oh, I still have full mobility. But I could do this to get rid of uh, the loose ores and things I have on me. Oh no, I accidentally. Yeah, I accidentally put the weight of Flawless Amethyst. Alright, so first up, let's hit the armory. 
Okay, and we are going to display all of these. Okay, so we displayed 16 items this time around. Pretty good. So here's all the ancient Nord stuff. We've yet to find any of the armor, but man, the weapons are coming in nicely. I wonder what shield goes here. That's pretty cool. Got a few pieces of Dwarven. Very nice. Steel is coming along very nice. So we need more steel plate. And we don't have the steel horned. The horned steel helmet here. That's looking good. Iron is looking almost complete. I wonder which bow goes here. Hmm. Here's a few pieces of elven we got. No armor yet. Glass is coming along nicely. One dwarven armor. Should have had a full armor. I mean, one dwarven weapon. I mean, one orcish weapon, rather. Could have had a full suit of orcish, but no. Lydia ate it. So, white run is complete. Here's Winterhold. When we become Thane and Winterhold, we'll get this. Those two displays here. Okay, so here is uh, the Riften Guard. Nice and complete. It's got a shield. When I become Thane, I'll get that stuff. All right, that looks good. And since I didn't forget, we're going to go display these shields. All right, so let's eyeball these shields. Make sure I didn't get doubles. Okay. For that one. That vermin one, do I have it? Yeah, I already have it. All right, so I just sell that one. So here's that armor. Yeah, Intrigue Light Armor. Intrigue Heavy. Intrigue Heavy. Here's like gloves. So I got gloves. So I got to display the heavy. Yeah, so I got boots and gauntlets for Intrigue Heavy. Pretty neat. Okay, so this is what the Intrigue uh, Light Armor set's looking like so far. Oh, that's pretty neat. I want to display some jewelry, I think, yeah. I want to display these amulets it's on the second floor. And a shout out to Luke Beaverson for pointing out that every standing stone that I hit up, I forgot to loot the associated necklace with each standing stone. Amulets of, stand, uh, amulets of Skyrim um, places a necklace at every single standing stone in the game, and I totally forgot. So, Luke Beaverson, thank you for reminding me. So let's go ahead and display the necklaces and things I have. So I'm Akatosh, Stendar. Okay, that is not one of them. This one I'm pretty sure is Ring of Wartcraft. Let's see if it gets displayed. There we go. Looking good. Alright, so cool. Here it is right there. Ring of Wartcraft. So that definitely was supposed to go here. Nice, look at this. The collection is coming along. So satisfying. Finished displaying two items. Should have been three. Maybe I doubled up on a necklace I shouldn't have. Captain Corden's Saber. I think that goes into the Hall of Secrets. Let's go to the Hall of Secrets. Yeah, I think it goes in one of these displays. It does not go here, I don't think. I don't see a display for it. I'm not sure where it goes. The Eve's Guild display is coming along nicely. Look at this. Pretty cool. I think I have some paintings too, right? Alright, so what paintings can I hang? That's one. Two. Any more? Nope. Had two paintings. So, that's my painting collection so far. Alright, so let's see where this staff goes. Which staff do I have? Gadnor staff. You're back. Wonderful. I trust things fare well. Hey, we got Thornblade. I found an odd weapon from a Dunmer trader, and it turned out to be something rather impressive. Here, have a look, and place it on display if you like. Cool. Thanks, man. Let's check it out. Causes five points of extra damage. Effective is against undead. And of course, I'm just going to display it, guys. But that looks pretty cool. Wrong button. <coughs> yeah, it looked nice. Ah, oh, well, worse comes worse. Oh, oh, more stabs. There it is. Gandor staff goes right there. Cool. And I forgot to put the heavy witch plate onto this mannequin, so there you go. Very, very nice. All right, so let's hit up uh, Hall of Natural Science. Which fairies do I have? 
Fairy 12 and 13. And I had Zelda's Fairy that I forgot that I had last time, and I hit Auto Sort. There it is right there. That's weird. Zelda, Zelda's Fairy remains in her in her lantern. Normally they get freed, and you see them somewhere here. But it looks like Zelda's Fairy does not. Hmm, I wonder why, there's, why that has an exception. 13 and 12. Coming along nicely. Okay, so one of the fairies shows up right there. Haha, <laughs> cool. And one fairy is right there. You can barely see them. And one right there. Because I can't proceed any closer. But that's cool. I like the idea that the fairies get like let loose and they have their own little habitat. Okay, I saw one, two. I saw two. Could have been more and I just didn't spot it. Nope, just two. But that's looking good. I like it. And a horse. I never did have horse. There it is. All right. This is complete now. I don't know why you would have like a farm scene in a museum, but there you go. Oh, I got Horker. There it is. Such a fearsome beast. <laughs> and do I have any more fish? I got the jellyfish, right? Yeah. Jellyfish. Where's that go? Right there. Boom. Look at the little fishies. Oh, I have a shell. Cool. Forgot about that. So let's go display the shell. Place it. One was displayed right there. <laughs> Alright, so let's get to the Hall of Oddities. So, the curious silver mold goes somewhere. Uh, let's go and display the coin. Display the coin. Place all displays. Come on. There it is. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's see where this curious silver mold goes. I stole a spoon of assassination. I know where the old where that was in the old version of the museum. That was something you found in the museum itself. Drawing knife. Carry it. Here it go. Nice. Yeah, cool. Um dark ship. Goes over here, right? Yeah, right there. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I got an instrument. Where'd it go? There it is, right there. So I got three instruments so far. Oh, got an Elder Scrolls plate. There you go. <laughs> My very unimmersive display. I'm so proud of it. Alright, let's go. To the library. Okay, got one book for 36 Lessons of Vivek. One book for Tale of Kiran. Alright, one more book for the Wolf Queen. Oh, got some books for a dance up in the fire. Cool. That's almost done. One for Argonian account. One for the Fey Folk. Two more volumes to go. Oh, got one for a rising threat. Nice. Two more volumes for that. Hey, got a book for Mystery of Talara. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta display Thornblade. Thornblade! I think it's because I have it equipped. Yeah, you can't display stuff that you have equipped. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I found it. Look, Captain Cord and Saber goes right there. Cool. I feel so much better. Alright, now I'm gonna go uh, auto sort. Hey, if you guys find this part of, of, of my video series boring where I'm running around displaying stuff and you prefer me just go straight to uh, the display prep station, let me know. I don't mind. Alright, so we're gonna say yes here. And let's see if there's any new quests or books and stuff here. Doesn't look like it, so we're just gonna wait. Alright, so it looks like I missed seven items. They were probably fossils or whatever. Or probably books, too. Alright, cool. So now what I'm actually going to do is head back to the safe house. And I'm going to go through my uh, potions. I'm going to go through my alchemy ingredients, see if I can un unlock some more um, attributes. And maybe make some more potions and stuff. Maybe some money potions. But I'm not going to make you guys suffer through that. Locanus Root and Imstool no longer make a potion of paralysis. That's good to know.
Whew, okay, so I went through a lot of ingredients, and I pumped out some, I guess I'll call them money potions, but nothing's really earning me a lot lately, but... Yeah, I went up a few alchemy points, so that's nothing to scoff at, so... Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap, bathe, eat, and then we're gonna hit the road. After I get my gear back on. Actually, I wanted to disenchant the stuff I have, too. I don't want to forget. So, novice spells cost no magic, though. That could be useful later down the line. I'm gonna disenchant this. 10% magic resist is great, but I want to be able to apply this to all kinds of stuff. I'm using that right now, but all this other stuff I'm going to disenchant. Well, the silver dagger is sort of my main, uh, <laughs> my main silver dagger, so I can't disenchant that. But this other stuff, yeah. Oof, and I keep coming to this. That's 70% resistance to shock. I can't do it. I gotta save it. That thing is too good. Looks like everybody's here. Let's go out the main entrance. Alright, so let's hit up uh, this box here. Oh, there's a thousand gold waiting for us in here. The donation box. Cool. Okay, so as I head out of town, I'm going to sell off all of those potions I just made and any other loose garbage I might have. Yep, got to ramp up my gold so I can start doing some training. Stuff I like to train are the things that are a little too tedious to train, like light armor and heavy armor, things like that, where you got to just get whacked on. Alright, so I think I got some loose weapons. There's no end to the needs. Return anytime you need arms or arms. I hope your parents are proud of you. Take a look. All right, so let's look at all these potions I got. Take care, dearie. We've got everything. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Yeah, that cleaned out a good bit. All right, nice. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Yeah, there's so much stuff to still in here. Ooh, I want those fire salts, but I'm not going to do it. Just that. I'm in no hurry to turn in that quest. Still got a good bit, fair bit of way to go in the Thieves Guild, so I'm going to be in Riften a lot. And I still got to buy the house in Riften, too, so I can get that Thane shift. Thane shift? Thane ship. Here we go. Right, so now's a good time to call Allie, and you can see how um, my followers all call their horses. Except for Sophia won't do it. She's using her own horse. So the horse is already out here. No? Okay. So, this is how you do it. Horse call. I'd never use horse whistle. So me and Lydia do that. Get on our horses. And Sophia, where's your horse? There's her horse. Her horse just appears. It's aggressive too. Come on, you can find each other. There you go. So Lydia and Sophia have the same color horse. No, oh, that's okay. Ooh, watch out. All right. Need a ride? Yep, we're going to Rifton. Where do you want to go? You might run into some of them lizard folk in Rifton. Lira. All right, let's go. Good morning, y'all. Or right, good evening. There is Dinya Belu in the house. No, nope. she's down here in a crypt. Hollow dead, rather. Actually, there's a quest down here. Totally forgot. I right, word. Oh yeah, uh, Alexandra. Come to laugh at the grave tender. No, come to talk to the grave tender. I can see that disapproving look in your eye. What? What are you talking about? You're projecting, woman. You tend the graveyard. If you're trying to ask if I tend the hall of the dead alone. Then the answer is yes. You're very defensive. You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? Guess again. Leave the dirty work to old Alessandra. You don't look that old. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. Well, uh, how's your father to blame? My father was a priest of Arche. All my life was spent around the dead, being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. Hmm. I never had any friends. Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? So I grew up with a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. I'll feel for you, lady. How can you make peace with your dad? I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun and give my ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. 
I could bring it for you. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. I appreciate your help. Here. I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders and he'll take care of the rest. So, uh, what's so special about the dagger? A priest of RK is entrusted with a ceremonial dagger once they've completed their training. It's usually given by the head priest who sanctified the ritual. In my case, the head priest happened to be my father. The thing is, I never wanted to follow in his footsteps. In some ways, I still don't. But you ended up doing it anyway. I had to, for honor's sake. But I had waited too long. My father died before he could see my training to completion. Hmm. When I finally became a priest, they gave me the new high priest's dagger. But I already owned my father's. So you see, I have to return it. It breaks tradition, and I need to tell him that I finally did what he wanted. No, you didn't want the job, but you took it to make your dad happy. Jeez, that sounds like a lot of people I know. Alright, I'll get it done for you. Be cautious. The pilgrimage to the shrine is not an easy one. Hey, is Dinyu down here? No, she must have left already. But I think there is some stuff here for us. Nothing here, nothing there. Nothing over here. I'm almost certain that there is something here for us. Oh, there it is. Bloody skull. I'm not even sure where that goes. I think it's the Hall of the Hall of Auditors. So Dinyaba must be upstairs. Let's head up. That'd be this way. And since I'm here, I might as well look at the temple. I don't think I actually searched the temple for stuff. What's this door? Oh. Oh, I see books. Amulet I already have. Take this book. Arrow shot woman. I already read it. I hear bugs. There's another book. Doors of the Spirit. Very nice. What's that? It's a purple looking quill. Quill of germ gemination. What the heck is that for? That sounds familiar. That is not the quill. No, 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 no. That's not the quill. Quill that you get for a um, Maven Blackbriar later, is it? I don't think so. It sounds like that, though. Maybe. Right, anything else down here? I don't think so. Right, let's go upstairs. The Quill of Gemination. So pretty. Alright, where's Dinya? Mara Mal. Do you have anything to say to me? Blessings of Mara upon you. Uh, do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. All right. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. I want to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. That's cool. I could have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Well, I'm a dumber, so no, not really. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple, and we arrange a ceremony. Interesting. That sounds like lazy, uh, you know, developers, but whatever. Can you tell me about Mara's belief? I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm not going to get married yet. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Okay, thanks. May you return to her benevolence and safety. One day I'll get married. Alright, let's see if we can find Dinyu. Is she in here? 
No. I see books I want. Is it dark enough in here to where I can steal this? Yep. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I saw that eye open. Who's looking at me? I gotta take it now because I read it. Okay, I can take it. Oh, nope, no, 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 no. Alright, I gotta do this. I hate doing it like this, but... Alright. It fills me with joy to hear you're with child. Alright, I thought I saw it, didn't you just they now? They said it wouldn't, that it couldn't happen. But Mara has shown them their mistake. And to think I was born for in the ash wastes only two years ago. Loved ones. I never knew my path would lead to you. You were guided here. You were always meant to be here. That's the way of things. Then I thank Lady Maro with all my heart. For you, for our child, and for our love. Oh, that's sweet. She's having his baby. Hey, Lady Maro bids you welcome to her benevolence. Uh, I help the young lovers in Iverstead. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Does Mara require more of me? I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. <coughs> Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Cuckoo, I'll get it done. So many books I want to take. I'm going to come back that late. And yeah, here's a love bug in a jar. Pretty sure it's not supposed to be here. Yeah. This is JK's uh, temple. I wish they wouldn't use those assets for this stuff. Because the real one is out Why in the wild. Taken a wife? Wow, so many books in these bookshelves. Okay, I guess I looked. Nope. Another door. Anything in here? Nordic jug. Alright, let's go, guys. Let's we'll talk to Dove upon. and to Vex. Alright, so let's talk to Vex first. Looks like they're enjoying the drink and the ragged flagon as usual. Hey, Vex, I'm back. Out with it. Time is money. I've cleaned the sweep job. Fine. I've completed the burglary job. I suppose. I've completed the heist job. And I've bad. completed the shield job. Didn't muck it up, I hear. Good. Here's your share. Ooh, so close to level 20. These jobs aren't going to finish themselves, you know. All right, let's talk to Delvin. Oh, you're back. Yep. Fishing job. Oh, wow. I have, have something special for me, Delvin? Well, I never thought I'd see the guild this way ever again. The place is great into what it used to be when Gallus was running the show. Contacts are springing up all over. And I've got young footpads beating down the door to join up. I got one last special request of you. Finish this one, and all of Skyrim's ours for the taking. Cool. So what's the special request? We actually got a request from one of the most powerful families in Whiterun. The Battleborns. Make your way up there, and look for Alfred. He says he's got a matter that requires a delicate touch. And I suggested you for the job. Don't make me the fool and let me down. All right? All right, let's turn in the rest. Good job. Now, here's your pop. I'll patch on the bag Bad all day, but coin's coin, right? And that'll do it. No Find time me for if you're ever looking for some extra coin. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. Really? He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Ooh. Cool, so we get to proceed in the main quest of the Thieves Guild as well. So let's go ahead and save. Let's go talk to Mercer, and then we're gonna head off to Whiterun, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No time for idle chatter. Mercer is awaiting you. Cool. So let's talk to this joik. Well, nicely lit up this place, so beautiful. What do you want, Mercer? Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. 
Oh, I found the same markings at Honey Brew Meadery. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. You admire them. Maybe we should recruit them. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. How can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullum I. Slimy bastard. Hey, where do I begin? Gullum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can the finger fleet. our buyer. The only man who's foolish enough to name himself Get out there. Shake him down. See what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any no, questions. But I know that you're going to turn up missing if Very you keep cool. up this kind of talk. <laughs> Everybody hits on Sapphire. That's hilarious. All right, let's talk to Brynjolf. Where is that old man? There he is. I can't believe Gullum is mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Well, think he'll give me any trouble? Trouble? Huh. He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. So how do I get him to talk? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If mm. that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullum I, He's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Sounds like fun. Yeah, he's gonna owe us for his betrayal. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Sounds good. Uh, if I get information from Golemai, what then? Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Golemai is holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. East Empire Company, who are they? A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. Alright. You think Golemai will give me any trouble? There are thieves, and then there is Golemai. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. Mm. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. Sounds like we should have broken a couple of his bones already. How is Golemai an asset to the guild, huh? Golemai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. Let's do all right. Good luck in solitude. Keep Golemai alive, but remind him who we are. All right, so it's 9 p.m. I think meeting with, uh, was it, Alfred? The guy in Whiterun? I think it's good to meet him at night. Let's have a quick bite to eat before we go. All right, let's go, girls. No sleep for the weary tonight. Let's go and level up. Well. Thank you, Lydia. There's some big mouth. <laughs> All right, let's go. Off to White Run. Where do you want to go? I want to go to White Run. 
Right, so it's about midnight. Good time, good time. Hey, here's Allie waiting for me. There's got to be a way to mount the horse immediately. I gotta look into that. Alright, let's go. Quick dismount! Whoa. Very cool. So, he's probably at home, right? Alright, let's go knock on his door, see if he'll answer. Let's knock. I love this mod, simply knock. Is someone there? Yes. May I come in, please? Of course. Thank you. Cool. Didn't have to wait till morning. Alright, so where is he? He's probably in bed. No, he's upstairs. How do I get upstairs? Right here. There he is. Wakey, wakey. Alfred. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Thanks for getting dressed for me. Oh, uh, Delvin Mallory sent me. You're here, and not a moment too soon. If anything should happen to Arn, there'll be hell to pay. Calm down. Who's Arn? A close friend of mine. We fought together on the battlefield for many years until old age got the better of us. Now it's up to me to save him one more time. This time, from the Executioner's Block in Solitude. Solitude? Then why am I here in Whiterun? The City Guard in Solitude is seeking on for a serious crime. When he fled here, he was arrested for drunken behavior. Can you imagine? Fortunately, his identity isn't known to the authorities in Whiterun, so there's still a chance to save him. All right, just point me to the prisons. Hold a moment. This is more than a simple prison break. I want to have Arn's name stricken from the record books permanently. I'm setting him up with a new identity. It's the only way to throw the guard permanently off his trail. All right, so what's his job? The job is twofold. First, steal a letter that was sent from Solitude warning White Run's guard to be on the lookout for Arn. The second is to change Arn's name in the prison registry to his new identity. Okay, that sounds easy. I don't even have to leave Whiterun? If it was easy, I would have hired a local thug instead of a professional. You see, <laughs> both of these items are kept inside Dragon's Reach. And they don't allow visitors inside the Jarls or the steward's chambers. One more thing. If you get caught, I can't afford to be connected to you. Remember that before you do anything stupid. No problem. Where's the letter being kept? I have eyes within Dragon's Reach. They tell me that all correspondence from other holes are sent to the Jarl's private chambers. Okay, any information on the prison registry? It's a well-known fact that the steward keeps all of the records on White Run's prisoners in a large book. My sources tell me you can find that book in a study in his quarters. Change Arn's entry in the book to anything you want, and they'll be forced to let him go after he serves a few weeks. A few weeks? Ouch. Uh, Lydia and Sophia are being very affectionate. Anything else here? No. You watch yourself out there. All right. Let's get it done, girls. All right, so let's go through the main hall. Could leave the girls there. Don't need them tagging along for this. They're not very sneaky either, anyway. Although I don't think it takes much sneaking into your chambers, considering I've done them. I'm Thane, actually, so I can pretty much go anywhere I want. Okay, so we'll have the girls wait here, and let me hit up. Uh, let me hit up Butso over here real quick, because there's some stuff I can get. Yeah, I like some fire salts. Yes, very nice, very nice. Very, very nice. And these soul gems. Oh, and these cards. Ha ha ha. What's these book? The Dragon Forge. I believe this book starts... A quest? Maybe not. No. Alright, cool. 
Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. I don't think there's anything in here I wanted, right? Just some books, but yeah. Okay, so I got the girls parked. I'm ready, to, you know, ready and waiting. So let's go ahead and hit the 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 prison, the dungeons rather. That's down here. Yep, that's where the registry is, right? Oh, where would that be in here? No, it should be up front here. No, that's up front. I hope you're finding the city in proper order. Oh, maybe it is. Where's the registry? Oh, it's not in here. Okay. Maybe I'll hit the Jarl's uh, chamber first. Let's see. Put the Jarl's chambers. So those bells that you're hearing, that you're hearing, that's kind of a bug. That's from interesting NPCs, I believe, and that's like there's a, a mist mother in the dungeons in the hidden passageway underneath. And once you enter there once, it just kind of follows you around for a little while. All right, so here's the registry. Let's do that. In fact, since we're here, <laughs> fish, fish bowl, we'll take that. And uh, we'll do some uh, minor banditry. <laughs> My necklace now. Since I don't like this guy, I'm gonna pickpocket him. <laughs> Take his gold, his silver amber ring, and his silver onyx ring. Oh yes, very good. And there's some things in these displays I could steal that I think I could display. Like here's an elven sword. Whoops. Yeah, master lock. You think I'm scared? No. You just kind of treat like an expert lock. You just work your way slowly around. You're gonna go through a few more lock lockpicks, but nothing too crazy. And of course, it's gonna be at the very end. Should have started on the right side. It don't matter. There we go. Just the hair. And I already had that sword. Son of a bitch. So that was a sword. White run guard armor that I already have. And what's in here? Stuff I don't need. Okay. Let's go up. Now let's take a peek in everyone's room. So here's the kids' room. Like I said, I could just walk in. No one cares. <laughs> Your lift is put in with the kids. That must suck. Okay, here's a necklace. Wow, that's a thousand dollar necklace. Necklace. But little girls, I'll leave it. Let's see what's over here. Oh, books. I want the books. Well, one book anyway. What is these? Denver of Skyrim. Got some silver. White Run Thane's necklace. I'm gonna get. One. Oh, I already had one. <clears throat> I probably already have it on display. Does this guy have anything worth pickpocketing? Nah. Amulet Talos. Do I already have one? Yeah, I do. Let's hit the yellow quarter. Here's that note. All right, to Kurt Stewart of Whiterun. Let it be known that we are seeking the criminal named Arn for the crime of murder in solitude. If you should locate him, detain him, and contact me by courier as soon as possible. All right, we are done with the job here, but uh, let's see if there's any other goodies. Plenty of silver, but. Cat makes over stuff, so no point in stealing it. Poison paralysis, I'll take that. Yeah, let's go through the y'all's room. So here's that sword that, um, what's her name, made for her father that we turned in way early, but we made a replica and displayed that, so we don't need to take it. Alright, so what else is in here? Ooh, we'll take the Stone of Baron's Eye, thank you. That should be it. Let's see if there's anything on the y'all worth taking. Minor Magica, meh. Alright, we're done. Let's go, guys. Go back to Ulfred. And 
it in. And then we're going to go off to Solitude and dive right into the next step of the main quest of the Thieves Guild. Wakey, wakey. You're not supposed to be in here. Okay, I was supposed to knock, I guess. But the door wasn't locked, man. So if you don't... Well, the girls will be fine. All right, the door should be locked now, right? Yeah, now I can knock again. I know, pretty stupid, but what are you going to do? Is someone there? Yes, it is I. Nah, I don't think so. Come on, please. Okay, just this once. <laughs> so you just gotta be polite, that's all. Alright, now I could go talk to him. That's a good way to work up your speech, maybe. Just knock on everyone's door. Try to plead your case to come in. Alright. Now will you talk to me, you old bastard? Alfred. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. What's wrong with your neck? A name I'm sure you know well. Well, we met, so... Everything's been done on Arn. Should be... Everything's been done. He should be safe. Arn? Never heard of him. <laughs> oh, you're so coy. I guess that means you're finished. Here's your payment. Tell Delvin that he has my support and all the weight it carries in Whiterun from now on. I think he'll be quite pleased. Very cool. All right. You watch yourself out there. I will. You should, um, you should lie down and go to sleep. <gasps> See that weapon? It belongs in a museum, but I believe it is way too expensive to pickpocket. So let me save. Let's turn out the light and try pickpocketing him. See, that's it right there, Crescent. See, it's worth value is 3,000. Chance is still 0%. I don't I don't have a shot at all. I'll take his gold. Increase the duration of alchemical potions by 50%. Only 54% chance to steal. This is all the stuff I want to do in the house before I get actually like try to pickpocket something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so let's search the house first for all the things we need. Don't have to sneak because we're friends. <laughs> so since we're friends, I'm not going to just... You know, be a petty, you know, thief for anything and everything. Just stuff that I could put in a museum. Like this saber cat. So cool. And this book. Like, oh, there's salt and everything is safe with the, with me. Oh, yeah, here's an ebony shield. I would love to give this to Lydia. But, you know, it's just laying here. So it's going to be displayed until I find one out in the wild and I win it properly. Hey, you want to read the letter for Ofina? There is a way to read this without stealing it. Right click? No, I stole it. Can I read it? Ugh, and I just put it back in his pocket. I don't care. I know with the controller, there's a way to read stuff without actually stealing it. Alright, anything else here? No. I do believe there's some stuff. Oh, here's a book. Lydia waiting patiently. Alright, so this is the kids' room. I'm gonna take a sweet roll because I don't care. Alright. And there's several things in here, right? I'm not gonna take the necklaces and things like that. Alright, so here's a lock a door that's locked, but I'm gonna leave it locked because it's related to a quest, so I'll leave it be for now. Alright, ladies, we're going to solitude. I guess I should sleep till morning, though, because I'm tired. So, Mikhail, what will be tonight? The All right, let's go. Maiden fair from Hadleyshire. Solitude's famous for its Bard's College. Worth a visit if you. <laughs> Yahoo. And he's in the Winking Skeever. I wonder what he looks like in with this Welcome current overhaul. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. He's over here. So, what do we have here? Look at this guy. Mm. You look Let marvelous. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. 
By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. Repeating yourself, but are you? that can't be true. I'm here about the Golden I, Glow Estate. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. You can drop to act now. Gold Joe and I. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Yeah. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? You acted as a broker for its new owner. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Is that right? Identify the buyer. We'll forget what we know. What would it take to identify the buyer? Intimidate. Let's try persuading. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it could ruin me. Is that right? All right, how about intimidating? Give me the buyer's name or I'll kill you. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? <laughs> you kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. Fine, let's bribe him. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Okay, fine. I don't need the girls following me for all that. Might as well let them relax here in the end. I'll be back, ladies. Should I take the time to go through the Blue Palace? Steal everything there. Yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna have to eventually. Or I could wait till I'm actually doing all this stuff here in Solitude. When Solitude's my primary focus. Uh. This video is going a little long, so set. yeah, I'll just Father steal the firebrand wine and head back. Anymore. So much life in solitude. I wonder if this guard has a. Nope, got a bow. Still need to get Lydia her crossbow. I should hit up the blacksmith and see if I can make an iron or steel crossbow. I think those exist, right? I think that's what the guards use. Alright, so the firebrand wine, where would that be? Oh, it's right there. Steward Falk, I have a task for you. I want to begin stockpiling food and water in the oh, event we come under siege. And I would like you to oversee right, this work personally. So pretty. I love that this overhaul. Course of action, my Yara. Okay, so here's the blacksmith. I'm not going to forget this time. Alright, let's see if I can make an iron crossbow. Iron force storm construction technique. Requires a force form bow. Oh, so that's how that works. I don't know what that is. Shrine on Nocturnal? I can make a shrine. Hidden helmet? Oh. Create a storage token. I don't know what that is. What is this stuff? I can make a circlet version of Linway's helmet. Linway's hood. But I like how that looks. Alright. So the filter that's tripe and cross. Oh, I can make a steel crossbow. Cool. And a Thieves Guild Ebony crossbow. Even though I don't have the book on me. So it's three steel ingots, firewood, and two leather strips. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. I bet you this blacksmith here, Bjorland, is it? Has steel ingots. And firewood I can find somewhere around here. So three steel ingots, two leather strips. If I was at the museum... And I could if I want to, but I'm not Seems too far away. No end to the need <laughs> Shut the up. Finest weapons and armor. All right, so you got steel for me, right? He doesn't have any steel ingots. Son of a bitch. Uh. Oh, well, Lydia's just going to have to wait. <laughs> That's good to know. I can make a steel crossbow, though. That's good. That's good to know. Man, this guy looks so badass. Maybe one of these days I'll play as a... I keep wanting to say Ixar, but these are um, Argonians. <laughs> Slip my mind there for a second. Okay. Warm drinks and warm beds. All right, let's talk to this guy. Hey, man, I got you stuff. Ah, I see you have the wine. Hand it over, and we'll talk. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. That's awfully generous of you. <laughs> You're trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. Pretty smart as far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. 
I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. Just push she minus flashed me. a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Did you say why she was doing this? Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. I don't believe you. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. That's it? You don't have a name or anything? In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. I think you're lying to me, Golomai. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. I think your face could use a matching scar. Okay, so we're supposed to shadow him. <coughs> but that could be kind of tedious. So what we can do is wait an hour and he'll already be gone. Look, I've told you everything. Now leave me alone. Dude, this place only has one entrance. Uh, no reason for the girls to follow me. Alright, let's wait an hour. Alright. Otherwise, you're gonna trod very slowly all the way down to the docks. Okay, let's go. For some reason, Sophia, Sophia is on her horse. I am gonna just leave her alone. She must be um, tending to her horse while she's waiting for me. That's cool. Okay, so now that we're at the docks. Let's go down. So he went into the East Empire Company. That's just right over here. Deja has no words for you. She looked like she was waiting for me. All right, here we go. Prentice Locke can't defeat me. Nice. Okay, so now this is sort of an infiltration stealth mission, of course. But I can't leave any survivors, can I? Oh, look who it is. I can't use my light, but I can use Night Eye if I want to. So bright. But I could just make out what's going on here. So let's go up this ramp. What was that? Whoa, someone saw me? So, my stealth is very weird. <laughs> it's like they could spot me, imagination. but they can't find me. So these guards are wearing heavy plate armor, which means that I will have trouble backstabbing them. They keep fighting me everywhere anyway, so what I'm going to do is cast Fury and let them kill each other. Where'd that one go? I was sure I heard something. You did. There she is. Night Eye for the win. Wow, that's weird, this water. Alright, I'm not worried about losing him. Where'd you go, lady? What was that? There she is. And I hit the stupid wood. <sighs> I don't quite have enough magicka to just chain cast this stuff. Okay. There we go. Uh oh. Is someone there? Now I got her. Like I said, my s sneaking is like weird. <laughs> I'll kill you if I have to. Okay. Just a scratch. That the best you can do. Oh my! Casting some spells, man. Next. Uh oh. Okay. You puny weakling. You puny weaklings. Nice. <laughs> very, very satisfying. 
How many we got here? What was that? How many guards are down here? One's almost down. Come on. One good hit. Get in there. Hey. Get him. Now finish him. You're not done yet? There you go. Nice. Dwarf dagger. I should be able to finish this one off now. Here we go. Bam. Sneak 43. That's, is that all of them? Golomai is way over there now, but I'm not worried. I'm not worried about losing them. Still reinforced armor, so I think I need all of that, right? All right, cool. So let's uh, catch up with Golomai. He's just across the way here. He's right there. dark so we're just tailing him because we're trying to find a hidden location the hidden meeting place that this guy conducts his business and all the other shady stuff he does down here so he went down there crossing underneath the docks going back up let's get behind him there's a light right there so I gotta be careful alright there you go, Bob's your uncle. Here's the hidden entrance. But there's several things in this area that I want to um, make sure I don't miss out on. So, let's see. I think I killed everyone, but I'm going to stay sneaking just in case. So you get loads of stuff. Like, here's a bunch of troll fat. There's a lot of cool stuff you can find here in the nooks and crannies of this place. And the only reason why I'm taking the time to look through this and instead of just proceeding is that you don't come back this way. It's better to just clear out everything you want from here before you go on. It's not just like inconsequential stuff like, you know, garlic, like I'm looting. There's actually other things. Something to sell to Delvin and like museum stuff. So, you do want to go through all this. Potatoes. More better hoes. Alright. So the main thing we want is up here. Okay, I don't think there's anyone in here, right? Let's see. Okay, cool. Alright, so here is East Empire shipping map. Boom. You sell that to Delvin. And all this loose change. I like loose change. And there's like jewelry on this table that you can barely see. What else? And I'm not using Night Eye right now because like I said, it just ruins the atmosphere. So... And you know, I'm not going to cut a whole lot out of this portion of the video because I think there might be some of you that's actually curious and interested about this area. Some books. And I don't know. Maybe there might even be a fairy in here. I don't know. Ooh, there's a chest. Let's get it. Looks like it's 10 o'clock. I'm down to 63 lockpicks. Holy crap. Got to try to remember next time I'm in the guild to buy some more off the Tanelia. Card of Shadows. Here's some lockpicks. Scroll of Hysteria. Heavy Witch Plate. We already got one of those. Nothing here. Here, drums, loots. Oh, here's another chest. I don't think I remember coming across this chest. I might have been missing some good stuff, man. Yeah, good stuff. Nothing else here. Bunch of clothes. More chests. These are empty. Furniture and whatnot. Iron helmet with horns. I need the steel helmet with horns. Bunch of steel armor here. Some guards. I don't think I looted this one. 
Actually, yeah, I do want the helmet and the boots, don't I? Keep forgetting. Okay. So, squashes and a buttload of cheese. Pork or meat and things on there. I'm pretty sure there's nothing on there. There is more of, of an upper level here. I don't remember if there's anything here. Let's see. Okay. More barrels and things. A bed. Oh, a chest. Okay. Let's see. Ouch. Cool. Silver quarter staff. Looks like something I could... Oh, there's a sleeping dude here. Who is this? Like just a worker. I don't, I'm not gonna kill him for no reason. Even if I was in the Dark Brotherhood. Alright, guys, that's it for this area. Let's go. Alright, let's head to that hidden area across the way. Never occurred to me that there might be something in the water. I'm not gonna look too hard. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is good game. Confront Golem I. Not the light. Should care every nook and cranny for bad guys. Yo! Trip to trap. Good thing they didn't hear it. Was not for show, and someone One had, had to, to die. die. Heard someone coughing too. Gonna start keeping a knife in my boot. Two dudes. You know what that means? His armed. Cast from the shadows. Ooh, clear line of sight. Gonna split your ah, belly that's it. like an old woman's purse. Here he actually kicked in right away. Very cool. I got a lot of people. I could probably take out a lot of people. Just this one area. Here comes a mage. Oh. Oof. Whoa, he stepped in a trap. I somehow missed it. Alright, so let's cast You're a on. Fool to fight me. Let's see what you've got. What aggroed them? Now you pay. Oh, he's too powerful for fury. Alright, so I'll cast it on that guy right there. Can I hit him from here? Ah, found you. Huh? Got him. Are you prepared to die? Ooh, it's gonna get dirty. No here one they go. Ah! Damn, he took him out with one hit. Let's get this mage now. Is she too powerful? No, she had her stupid shield up. Okay. <laughs> Back in the shadows. Whoa, she's got a staff. That's my man, huh? I know I heard Regenerate. something. Regenerate. Almost there. There we go. Huh? There we go. Ooh, Mr. Thug is gonna get us. Here he comes. Here he comes. Watch out! You got an orc behind you! Now you're mine. Over here! Yeah. <laughs> Start running. He did not even give her a chance I to... Sure I heard oh, something. we got another one. Can I hit him? I missed like a bitch. Yeah. I'm luring everybody over here. This is great. This is great. I'm so glad Sneak is working. Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Oh! You're you almost got me. Alright, so. Oh god. Oh god. Do I have any potions of magicka? No, I don't. Let's duck and weave until I have enough mana to cast. Gary. Yeah, that thug is no joke. Alright, here we go. Oh, I missed. Okay, okay, okay. Enough of this. Let's turn this back on. Okay, so I hit him pretty good. Alright, Mr. Orc, it's just you and me now. Oh, God. Duck and weave, duck and weave. No one bests an orb. Ow, 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 ow. Can't see. Yeah. Reaper, 
position! He keeps healing himself. This is not fair. Well, I'm healing myself too, so I guess it's fair. I'll Come show on. You what a Come real on now. Can do. I'm out of stamina. No. Die already so I can take your stuff. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Come on now. You puny weakling. Oof. Man, that sounded painful, didn't it? I'm stuck. Huh. <laughs> Weave around. All right, I think he's out of hit. healing potions finally. Zap. One more hit. Boom. Whew. All right, let's heal up. <laughs> All right, that was fun until I got sloppy at the end. Let's see what this guy. Scaled armor. I don't have that. Good. Steel Maul. I don't have that either. Very nice. Hunting bow. Okay. I think we killed most of the people here. Alright, cool. So let's search in this area. What do we got? Son. This is an extension of uh, the East Empire Company stuff. Ooh, what is these? Iron. Good. I'll take all that. Potions. I'll take those too. Alright, so something up here actually aggroed them. Probably something in here. You know what? Pull out my dagger. I said pull out my dagger. So whatever it is in here, I aggroed. So let's turn on Night Eye and go in here. See if I can get some sneak attacks off on these guys. I think I better save though. Something tells me I better save. Look at these fiddlehead ferns. Much resolution. So what's in here? Some creepy crawlies? I hear them. Some spiders. Okay, I'm not fully revealed so I should be able to sneak in here. Okay, I want to get some sneak attacks off. But you see spiders, arachnids. Let me calm down. Almost there. There we go. Nicely done. So now I can have my way with them. Let's kill this one first. Ah, dead. Get out of the way. All right, you're next. Ah. Back up. <laughs> Can't see me, can you, Mr. Rachneed? Uh, missed. Alright, now we got him. In the booty. Ha 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 ha. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very satisfactory. Alright. Cool. Let's proceed. Get over there? No. This way. Okay. And if you curve around, you come back to where you were. Right there. Oh, there's a chest in the water. I never noticed that chest right there. Before my mod load out, this water wasn't transparent like this. It wasn't clear, so I never saw that chest. That is so cool. Let me backtrack just a little bit. Yeah, so that's that carnage that we wrought. Let's go see what's in this chest. That is so neat. Like normally when you come in here, and if you don't, if you stay stealth, there's like two people here. Uh, here's like a, there's a guy standing here, and then there's someone swimming. That explains why someone was swimming. Refined moonstone, cool. Like if you wanted to play this completely stealth, all you have to do is jump in the water, and you could work your way almost all the way through the entire dungeon. Okay, so turn off the lights, just in case there's more people. I think there is. Moving on. Yeah, I think we clear out most of the people that was at the entrance. Yeah. Doesn't mean we cleared everybody, though. Oh, what's this? What's this? Illusion. Devil 33. Turn on Night Eye. 
Put the trap over here. Looks like it was already sprung though. Anything here? Not seeing anything. One trap. Let's miss this one. There's a dog. Bone chimes. I don't want to kill the dog. We'll leave the dog alone. We'll go back out this way. It just loops around anyway. I can't kill dogs. Dogs dogs are innocent. There are no bad dogs, only bad people. Alright, let's go this way. What if I aggro the dog? I'll have to kill him. Whoa, what's who's this? There's a dead person here. I see a barrel in the water. How did this person die? Thank you for the silver. Silver hand amulet. Interesting. Hmm. See a fire. One dude by himself. Let's take him out with a, an arrow. He's wearing leather. This should hurt. Shoot him in the head. What oh. Bad if the archery is level 21. Pretty beefy. You can't deal with my sneak, though. Very good. Alright. So, we got this little area here. Silver arrows. Hmm, weird. Ooh, adapt lock on this chest. 12, 10, nope. Let's go to two. Yep. Almost there. There we go. Rock and roll. Tomato, tomato, tomato. And we're going, coming up to the end here now, guys. Getting close. Better take that torch. Yeah, see that guy right there? What was that? Somebody saw me. It's fury time. He's wearing armor. Boom! Get him! Ha! Found you! Uh. There we go. Oof. Oof. Please don't kill me! <laughs> Not so fast! Uh. Quite good enough! He's dead. And there should be one more bandit over here, right? Yeah, he's right there. Aha! No one passes an orb! Make sure it doesn't wear off. Somewhere You're not done. There. Get him. Oh, that's Golem Eye. You'll need to do Cast on this one. That. Gotcha. No. Let's help Golem Eye. Oh. Yeah. Golem Eye's running. <laughs> Guy's a pin cushion. I'm missing that crazy. No mercy for you. Now let's kill the archer. Bad at thugs, man. These guys are tough. You start running so I can stab you in the. <laughs> You're talking to shadows, man. All right, Golem, I should be good. All right, let's search these guys and complete this quest. Yeah, this guy's got arrows and freaking <laughs> and ice spikes on them. Heavy witch plate, okay. We can use that. Steel boots, I'll take it. And yeah, that's it. Where's Golem Eye? He ran off. Let's get this chest. Take everything. Another chest over here, right? Yep. This one's locked. Twelve and ten new. Two. Yes. There it is. Moving right along. Still battle axe. Already have it. I have both of those. Alright, cool. Now where did... 
Golemai. Golemai ran all the way over here, man. There he is. Walking back like it's nothing. All right, buddy. Now there's no need to do anything rash. I'm beyond this rash. Isn't as bad as it seems. <laughs> I was gonna tell Mercer about everything. Honestly, please, he'll have me killed. Mercer doesn't have to know. I see you wish to be reasonable. Perhaps I misjudged you. And I don't like Mercer. The name of the person you want is Carlia. Carlia. You say that name like I should know it. Mercer never told you about her. Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Interesting. Where is Carlia now? I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. All right, cool. So now we just go back to Mercer. You needed to know more? Yeah, what else can you tell me? I'll keep quiet about your scam, but you owe me. Now you're speaking my language. Tell you what, if you need any stolen goods fenced, you bring them to me, and I'll pay you good money for them. Consider me your new friend in the north. I'm keeping the deed. Any objections? Consider it a gift to ensure your silence. That thing seems to be bringing me nothing but trouble anyway. Carlia didn't even want it. She wanted to keep the sale a secret. I can see how well that went. <laughs> All right, why did Carlia purchase Golden Glow Estate? That seems weird. I asked her the same thing, and she wouldn't come out and tell me. But now that I know who she is... I'd say she's trying to hit the Thieves' Guild where it hurts. How would that hurt the Guild? Well, it would um, cause uh, some friction with uh, Maven Blackbriar, right? Maven Blackbriar needs Golden Glow's honey for her mead. She's been using the Guild to keep the estate under her thumb. If the owner cuts the Guild out of the picture, he's cutting Maven out of the picture, which she can't afford. If I was Maven, I'd blame the guild for weakening and not being able to handle the place. Pretty crafty, which makes Maven lose faith in us. Exactly. For the guild to survive, they need Maven's support. This Carlia must have spent a lot of time and resources planning this. Yeah. Now you won't forget to tell Mercer I cooperated, will you? Of course not. All right, so let's go see what's in this hidey hole. Over here. All right, so a little, little, looks like a camp, I guess. What is this blue stuff over here? What is this up here? Oh, books. Good. I like books. See, soul gems and all kinds of stuff around here. Okay. So let's loot up, huh? It's a quest. Hanging Gardens of uh, Waston Caridel. Said it was a quest. Children of the Sky says this is a quest. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Evening Star. All three books are stuff I could display. That's good stuff, man. And we got chests. Expert chest. I love this game. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Boom. Alright, what we got in here? Lots of stuff. What else? Ooh, a painting is good. Shield I already have. Stuff to sell and... Disenchant and sell or whatnot. Ooh, what's these? A dwarven sword I don't have. Cool. I'm gonna compare that to my current sword though. Maybe I'll actually use it. Because since I found it during a quest in a dungeon, I consider it, you know, free game. All right, what else we got? Let me let me let me take a look. So I'm currently using. Oh, I'm using a dwarven sword anyway. So my current sword is actually better. Alright, so we got meat and stuff. Let's take the meat. Here's a chest. It's empty. Gotta be careful. Gotta look around. You What's needed this? to know more. A helmet I don't have. Cool. Expert chest. Let's open it. So we're using a mod called lock related loot, meaning the harder the lock, the better the stuff. So has that been reflecting in this video? Have is that what we've been seeing? I don't know. But let's see what's in this chest. 55 lockpicks. 
Don't forget to check Tanelia for lockpicks and a Khajiit. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't look like lock related loot to me. You maybe needed not, to know more. Maybe it's not all locks. What's this? That is nothing. Here's a chest that's not even locked, and it's got great stuff. Still great sort of smoldering. Let's see if I could disenchant that. Alright, the Bella statues. There's actually a spot in the museum for several of those, so whenever you come across those, take it. Empty chests. Guard of the Reach Shield. Hoffinger Shield. Interesting, interesting. I think that's everything, right? Let's see what's up here. Anything up here. Places to sleep. I would not want to sleep in a damp cave, man. Anything up there? Nope. And what about this ledge right here? Anything special over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Bunch of sleeping places up here. And we got some cages. You needed to know more. No, shut up. That opens everything. Anything hidden around here? Not that I'm seeing. Anything in the cages? Fish. But we're not going to go in there because it could be a trap. Yeah, nothing. All right, moving on. And there's horkers in here. We're going to leave them alone. We don't need anything from them. No point in killing these guys. Wah! Got a little close. A little horker cave. All right, I'm leaving. Bunch of sumo wrestlers in a hot tub. Okay, so now it's nighttime and I'm alone. I'm so alone. Okay. Oh, I see a jar right there. You see that, guys? I know you see it. I see like a sewer right there. All right, let's go down there. Be very careful. Don't have the girls to back us up right now. It's kind of plant I haven't seen before. I wonder if I can loot it. That's good stuff. And what is this? It looks weird. Slaughter fish in a jar. Cool. Alright, so... Let's get back to solitude. Pick up the girls. Then uh, head to back to Ripton. I will see what this is. It's a flower of some sort. It's a stone flower. Is that vanilla? I don't remember ever coming across those. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, let's go. I'm actually going to run with Night-Eye. Because <laughs> I'm alone and I'm worried. Hey, there's a lighthouse over here. Let's go check it out. See some more Nurn root over here. Wow, Night-Eye looks good. In D&D, like Dark Elves and stuff have different kinds of night vision. There's InfraVision, UltraVision, and EverQuest was like that as well. This makes me think of uh, Dark Elves in uh, EverQuest. They had UltraVision. Everything had a, like a blue tint to it. I think there might actually be something up here. Oh, not right there. I'm not going to bother the denizens of this place. Okay, I'm going to bother the denizens of this place. It's midnight. It's a good opportunity to break into their place. Anything up here? Seems like such a great place to hide something. Oh, what is that? It's a fairy. I didn't know there was a fairy up here. Cool. I'm so glad I went up here. All right, let's see what these guys are doing. Are they sleeping at midnight? Or are they up? Yeah, I just saw a video on <laughs> on YouTube that was talking about this lighthouse. Actually, you see that door? It leads into like a, an abode to live in. But where does that door go? <laughs> It's a magic door. Let's go inside. It's unlocked, so we can just walk in. Can I help you? I'm just looking around. You're a Khajiit. Hey, what are you doing in here? I'm looking at your face. Get out of here, or I will call the guards. But you're so beautiful. Until next time. Huh. See? Who says flattery doesn't work? He's got some stuff. I'm not going to take it, though. Just looking around for museum stuff. Ooh, I want this book. Alteration. Very nice. 
It's being very thorough. Sleeping person. Horse hide. Soap. Eh, there's no museum stuff here. Alright, let's go. Enough dilly dally. So I left the girls in the winking skeever. Alright, let's go. Up, up, and away. Night vision. I should trace to the coast, huh? See if I can find some shells along the way back. I see one right now, already, right there. Not to mention Nern Root. I need Nern Root anyway. So I should be doing this anyway. I don't need uh, my lantern right now. Right there. Bam. Scallop shell. Cream. There's some horkers. Oh, I'm freezing. I think I may have uh, Frostfall turned too, uh, down a little too, uh, too far. Because I'm actually not concerned when I should be. Right now, this should be like life and death because I went into like frigid water. Alright, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go in this ship here and warm up before I move on. So I don't have to make, go through the trouble of making a fire. Okay. I think everyone here should still be dead. Let's go in and warm up. The dinky slowed. You guys remember this? Alright. Should be a fire or something over here, right? It's a torch. Alright, let's go. That's enough. Actually, look at me hoofing it like a peasant when I have a horse. Oh, Allie! Ah, 2,000 gold well spent. And with night eye, even more better. How amazing is this? So cool. And I could even uh, loot stuff on the way. Solitude docks. Okay, so let's just pretend I told the girls that um, to meet me at the carriage... Uh, driver at 5 a.m. So, yeah. Huh, that's Lydia calling her horse now. There's Sophia! Let's go. You'll want to watch yourself in Riften. Like some kind of bug. I heard wings flapping. That's a dragon. Okay, Sophia and Lydia's here as well. All right, let's oh, take them out. You. Come to extort more from me? Uh, now it's not the time, Helga. What do you want? A dragon. It's a level dragon. twenty hollow dragon. It's not gonna be so bad this time because I'm level twenty. All right, Sophia, Lydia, let's do this. Even though you're in your town gear, it's okay. Boom. Oh yeah, and I got the support of the guards and everything. Whoa. He's got this weird beam attack. Poisons. This one, yes. Alright, here we go. Where you go, George? I think it's on the top of one of these buildings. Where are ya? He's right there. I can't get a line of sight. Alright. Wow, he looks awesome! Look at that! He's got horns. That's a cool ass dragon. It's gonna be a pity to kill him. Slay the dragon. You oh don't god. Look so tough to me. Yeah, let's hit him from here. Can I hit him in the head? Yep. He's almost dead already. Where you going, dragon? Oh, he landed. Or crashed, whatever. Oh, he took off. Don't want him to hit me. I have no magic resist. Where'd he go? Sound like he landed again. Yeah, he did. I see you. It's not facing me, so... Where'd you come from? Alright, let's get some poisons. Boom. These guards are... Fearless. Oh, 
think the guards are the heroes in this story, man. <laughs> yeah, he's not taking off anymore. He's almost dead. I got you, sucker. And he's down. Whew. It may be dead now. But where did it come from? Fear no. Some dragon or giant. Look at that mouth. Holy cow. Jeez. What manner of magic is this? It's dragon magic. <laughs> Feel it. Tingling through every fiber of my being. Take the bones, the teeth, and everything. Yeah, good. Very cool. Ooh, we are filthy. Let's go take a bath under these skill. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Mercer. She'd be just right there. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? He did. He said Golden Glow was purchased by Carlia. No, it it can't be. Oh, but it can be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Well, Golemai also told me she was a murderer. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Why has she returned? Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills, if she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. Well, Gullamai told me she said where the end began. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. I guess I'll see you there. Right, the girl's chit-chatting over here. Speaking with silence. So look at this. Uh, some more things uh, populated the guild now. Since we completed uh, the last city quest, look at this. <laughs> this is so cool. So warm and inviting. Alright, so let's turn the, this quest into Delvin. And we got that map to sell him as well. And I'm very hungry and very sleepy. Alright, so now we got a bear over here. Let's see what this area looks like now. So we got some new guys. Herloin Luther and Arskin Amber, Ember Master. I believe he's the new blacksmith. And Sinric. Very cool. Alright, let's talk to Delvin. Oh, Delvin. There he is. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available, if you're looking for some extra coin. Alright, I finished this special white run job. Alfred sent ahead his compliments. Looks like his friend Arn is soon to be released, thanks to his brand new identity. More importantly, he's pledged the full support of the Battleborn clan to the Thieves' Guild. The guild's at full strength, and we have you to thank for it. We've had our share of dark times, and now they seem like a distant memory. I'm gonna tell you something you'll never hear me say again. And if you tell anyone I told you, I'll deny it. When you walk through the guild, don't be ashamed to hold your head high, because you're the best damn thief in the place. That's very nice of you to say. I found this map at the um, East Empire Trading Company. Interested? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. 
I promise it'll be worth the effort. This should compensate you for your find. Oh, more than gold. And uh, now we don't need to do any more extra jobs and everything because we unlock everything. More work for the likes of you. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tanilia. We need lockpicks. Where is she? Oh look. <laughs> There's this walkway down that con that connects it. Look, everything is now open. We have four shops. Oh, I don't like this. Wasn't this guy uh, General Vendor or Clothier? Looking to fix your armor. Hmm. Blades, helmets. Oh, he's selling other stuff. Pretty now. much anything to suit your needs. You wouldn't have never crossbow, would you? Would you? Would you? All right then. All right then. Sophia wants me to buy her something. Sorry, Gil. Oh, this was the clothier. So that guy must be the newest one. Hide boots of Dolgen. Oh, these are static. You can't loot that. And we got these guys here. She's new. Mm -hmm. She's part of Opulent Thieves Guild. Mind? Looks like you guys you made a friend. You look good together. Need oh, something? Enjoy, enjoy your date. So now we have an alchemy shop here. I already looked at all this and the blacksmithing. All right, but the blacksmith is out at the moment, and now I can finally loot this stuff. It's no longer stealing. Cool, cool. All right, where's Tanelia? Need something? Oh, there she is. Well, looks like you're fit. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Oh. Of course. Otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. <laughs> I don't have any of my old Tough armor. Tough luck for you, then. Come back when you have at least one of the pieces. Okay. Because I put it on a mannequin. There's, like, loose pieces at these guild armor. Let me go grab one. Doesn't matter what. Just doing it to complete the quest. It'd just be a slightly better version of what it is. With stats and things I don't care about. Like lockpicking. Who cares? Alright. So sure, there's one talk, next to my bed, right? Yeah, boots. Pickpocketing chance, fifty percent higher. I don't care. Hey, good to see you. Did I talk to Rune? I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. Rune, how did you get your unusual name? My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. Do you know what they mean? No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Maybe you aren't meant to know. Perhaps. They could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. Very true. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Sounds like a quest. So who gave you the name? Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Hmm. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I'll keep an eye out for anything. I appreciate that. Be seeing you. So did I just get a quest? I didn't get like a quest pop-up. That's not like a quest. I don't know. All right, Tanilia, lockpicks. Me. I'll trade on my boots. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back, unless you want to sell it at a discount, of course. Okay. Sure, I'm sure. Okay, there you go. All right, actually, I just want lockpicks. Thank you. And that's where we're gonna end our adventure for today, my good friends. Oh, we made some something? good progress into the. Main Thieves Guild quest line, and the next episode we're going to Snowville's uh, Snowville Sanctum, and I just might dedicate a good portion of time in the next episode in um, uh, recruiting a, a, a Sarana. So I know there's a few of you out there that's been wanting me to do that, so I think I'll probably do that. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for joining oh, me. It's something? been a pleasure. I love this game. I continue to love this game. I continue to have fun playing this game and uh, continue to uh, have great appreciation for all of your support. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>